Thank you so much for coming. If you're new here, I have five children, three animals, and a very hungry husband, and I love to give you tips on homeschooling, cooking, that kind of thing. So stay tuned. Um, today we're going to talk about your children, preschool, kindergarten children who are not quite ready uh, for pencil and paper. Their fine motor skills are not developed and so you're trying to figure out. Number six is they must write and be able to say their phonograms A through Z clearly um, and if you feel like it's not quite there yet, I wanted to give y'all tips and suggestions for being able to hammer out those phonograms. First of all, you're gonna have to back away from the pencil and paper and go ahead, get out a little sandbox. If they have a sandbox, you can use it. Um, and you'll have to think outside of the box a little bit. I'm gonna tell you what I did, but then you can look for suggestions online. These are Montessori methods. These are hands-on methods. These are thinking outside the box methods to get your child writing uh, their, and spelling, writing their, their phonograms very clearly and legibly so you can move on to step seven. Okay, so the first thing I did was I had these cursive letters and we would talk through with our finger. You wanna go to bigger muscles, not fine pencil, but think finger. Um, you're gonna start on the baseline for the, f we're gonna go up to the top line, down to the basement, around to the baseline, down and connector. Those are the kinds of game things that you want to do with your child until they're pretty proficient with large motor skills, larger muscles at, um, at getting their A through Z before you bring them to paper. Uh, another thing that we would do was write on each other's backs. I would write a phonogram on the child's back with my finger, um, waiting at the doctor's office, waiting in line. I would say, what is this phonogram? They would write phonograms on my back, um, at a ah, and do the clock letter on their back. Another thing that's really fun is take it outside if you can. Even if it's really cold, let's see how many letters we can write with sidewalk chalk before we get frostbite. Uh, take sidewalk chalk outside, write a great big, uh, you can either write the letters with sidewalk chalk or what I would do is I would make a huge clock with my sidewalk chalk and we would walk around the clock and talk through the at a ah. You're gonna start on the baseline, go around to two on the clock, back around to two, down and connector. This is for cursive first. Uh, the cursive first program where you're writing your cursive letters. I, I didn't, I didn't, I failed to mention that. We don't start with print first because first of all, you can absolve a lot of dyslexia issues if you go straight to cursive. Second of all, uh, cursive makes more sense um, as far as connecting the letters, having a space and connecting more letters and making words. Thirdly, uh, the reason we have print first now in our systems is the socialist in the late 20s and early 30s came up with this bright idea to do sight words and print first and this would train and program our children's brains so they could not think outside the box. Um, so cursive first helps them to be more creative. It helps them to connect to everything uh, more appropriately. And it's what John Hancock, Thomas Jefferson, and all of our forefathers learned and why their handwriting was so beautiful. They did cursive first. They practiced cursive all the years of school. I hope this helps y'all. I had a little sandbox filled with colored sand and we use that a lot. We use the sand, probably the most was sandbox, cursive letters that they could trace, writing on the back. Those are the three I use the most. There are other ways uh, that, and if you look at MontessoriOutlet.com and some of the Montessori method uh, websites, they may have some more manipulatives, but those are my three favorite. And I had no issues once we came back to the pencil and paper, once we had kind of hammered that out, made school a little more fun, took it outside of the box, pieces of candy, connected them together to make letters. There's so many ways you can do this, but not with pencil and paper. This is, if you get to the pencil and paper, and I wanna read on step six, preschoolers or students with delayed motor skills, this is for you. 
We recommend that the tactile aspect be incorporated even with a young or special needs child. If the student's small muscle coordination makes pencil and paper work premature, directional orientation and letter formation can be taught by using larger muscles. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So I hope that helps y'all. Oh, what a beautiful program, what a beautiful day to be homeschooling and being in charge of your child's education, helping them be the best version of themselves. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.